Hi, Deep Creek. This is Miss Reben from fourth grade. And I would really like to share with you a clever book. It's called The Incredible Painting of Felix Clouseau by John Agee. The Incredible Painting of Felix Clouseau by John Agee. Now pay attention to the illustrations in this book because they're really quite clever. Every time I read this book, I see something different. In Paris, the Royal Palace was holding its grand contest of art. From all over the city, painters came to show their pictures. One of them was an unknown painter named Felix Clouseau. All the great artists were there. Gaston du Stroganoff showed the king on his throne. Felicien Café Olay showed the king on horseback. Alphonse Le Camembert showed the king in armor. Then Clouseau showed his painting. Outrageous, the judges cried. Never had they seen such a ridiculous painting. Then suddenly, quack, a sound came from the painting. The judges were stunned. Clouseau was awarded the grand prize. They called him a genius. It was the first time in history a painting had quacked. That was only half of it. Clouseau became famous. He was hailed from one side of Paris to the other. Even the king commissioned a painting. But soon, there was trouble. A wealthy baroness owned a Clouseau painting called The Sleeping Boa Constrictor. One night, it awoke. In fact, wherever there was a Clouseau canvas, there was chaos. The public was furious. There were damages. Somebody had to pay. So Clouseau was sent to prison. Clouseau's paintings were seized, all except one. Meanwhile, a notorious jewel thief was on the loose. All over Paris, diamonds, emeralds, and sapphires were missing. One night, the thief broke into the king's palace to steal the crown. The next morning, to the king's surprise, he found the thief caught in the grasp of a ferocious dog. The crown was saved. Clouseau was a hero. He was awarded the Medal of Honor, released from prison. He went back to his studio. And returned to his painting.